Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the News 8 Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Wednesday. The Grand Rapids Public Museum is set to unveil a brand new exhibit this weekend, and it combines the natural beauty of animals and the sophistication of robots. It's called the Robot Zoo. And joining us today to give us a bit of an inside peek at the exhibit is Delaney Lemke. She is the marketing manager over at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Delaney, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course, and you know, I, I gave a very bare bones explanation of this exhibit um, of Robot Zoo, really. So Delaney, I think it's really appropriate for you to give the full in-depth scope of what exactly this exhibit is all about. Yes, so this exhibit explores the magic of nature as a exceptional engineer. So the exhibit features eight enormous robot animals. Some of them are 10 feet tall. Um, and they kind of illustrate the real life characteristics of animals. So you'll get to see um, a chameleon change color, uh, learn how a house fly walks on the ceiling with its sticky feet and uh, lots of other cool facts about these incredible animals that you get to see through technology. Yeah, right. No, and it really, as you mentioned, there's going to be eight different animals. There's going to be a giraffe, a giant squid, a chameleon, as you mentioned, the rhinoceros. I mean, I want to bring up right now, actually, for people watching, just photos. These are just photos, and they look incredible, Delaney. Have you gotten the chance to really see them in person and maybe even see them in action? I mean, how awesome an event and exhibit is this really going to be? Yes, I've been able to see them up close, and there are so many little details that you notice when you're looking at them in person. Like I noticed that the giraffe ears feature little microphones picking up on sound. Um, so there are some great little details that you can only see when you're up close in person. And being able to just see kind of the intricacies, I mean, that's got to be pretty cool. And just, you know, again, it combines the best of both worlds. People are getting to check out these awesome animal robotics and then also getting to learn a little bit more about engineering as well. And, you know, besides the actual robots themselves, which are going to be a treat for a lot of people to check out Delaney, there are also a lot of hands-on activities that are associated with this exhibit that you guys have planned. Can you kind of go over just a few of them, maybe highlight some that you know people are really going to enjoy to be a part of? Yes, there's more than a dozen. For example, you can test your reflexes against the reflexes of a house fly. They are much faster than us. Um, you have a tongue gun, which you can shoot at targets um, like a chameleon would shoot its tongue out at its prey. Um, you can also disguise yourself against a backdrop like a chameleon and watch yourself disappear from your surroundings. So lots of really cool ways to get hands on with these concepts. And again, the exhibit does get started this Saturday and it runs through September 22nd. So definitely plenty of time for everybody to really go out and check it out, uh, especially during the summertime. I know parents are really looking for those fun, engaging educational activities for their kids to kind of combat uh, those summer learning losses that we always hear about. So this is really a great place to do that, wouldn't you say, Delaney? Absolutely. Plus, with this huge heat wave that's happening this week, mm -hmm. we are air conditioned. Um, we keep the temperature pretty controlled because of our artifacts. We want to keep them safe. Uh, so it's a great place to be with the weather being 90 degrees. And we have lots of little interactive games out in the Galleria that you can play. Giant chess, giant Yahtzee. So there's so much to do even beyond the robot zoo. And Delaney, kind of wrapping up now, obviously, uh, the Grand Rapids Public Museum has a lot of different and fun ac uh, activities and exhibits for people to take in. But specifically speaking about the robot zoo, I mean, what really is your hope once it does go, uh, you know, becomes public or be the, excuse me, it is open to the public on Saturday and it runs again through September 22nd. What is really your hope for people that do come down? What do you hope they kind of get out of it? Is it really just for them to have a good time or do you really hope that that educational part of it really stands out amongst people? Absolutely. I hope that it's both, that you have a ton of fun while you're exploring these incredible giant robotic animals and that you learn something new, either about robotics or about the animals that they're depicting. Um, so there's kind of something for everyone, whether you're more into the technological side or the biology side. 
Well, we're very much looking forward to the start of that exhibit. Again, the Robot Zoo is set to debut at the Grand Rapids Public Museum this Saturday, and it runs through September 22nd. If you would like to get a, a bigger sneak peek at it, maybe check out some of the photos of the animals beforehand, well, you can find all of that right now over on our website, woodtv.com. Delaney, one last time, thank you so much for stopping by the live desk today. We really do appreciate it. Of course, and thank you for having me again. Of course, and I want to thank everybody else for tuning in to this latest edition of the News 8 Live Desk. I'm Phil Pinarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.